Hey everybody, how goes it? I apologize for my output being kinda crap lately, but in case the change in scenery has not clued you in, I moved recently, and it is remarkable just how time-consuming that is. And if that wasn't enough, once I finally did get settled into my new place, I came down with some sort of really nasty cold. Uh, it was not COVID, uh, thankfully. It's a wet cough, which is disgusting, but not COVID. But yeah, it sidelined me for several days and I was not able to record at all. You can probably still hear it in my voice a little bit, but I'm at least close enough to 100% that I can get back to this. So with that in mind, let's talk about Nope. This is the latest movie from writer-director Jordan Peele and stars Daniel Kaluuya and Kiki Palmer as siblings OJ and Emerald Haywood. The Haywood family has been operating a ranch for many, many years that rents out horses to Hollywood productions. They inherited the ranch from their father after his untimely death, which was caused by seemingly random objects falling from the sky. He was killed by a falling nickel. How does that happen? Eventually, they realize there is an unidentified flying object hanging out above the ranch, and they see this as a money-making opportunity, which is something they desperately need because the ranch has fallen on our times. And so they try to capture video evidence of this UFO with the help of a documentary filmmaker and a Fry's Electronics salesman. And then it gets weird. I am a fan of Peele's previous movies, and I like this one as well, though it feels a bit different from Get Out and Us. It leans much more into the mystery aspect of what this UFO is and why it's here, although the horror elements are still very much present. There's a whole lot of screaming and a whole lot of blood, which usually comes after the screaming. And true to the title, there are plenty of times where you will find yourself saying, nope. Sometimes along with the characters and sometimes just on your own. I really like the interactions between the Haywood siblings, who have very different personalities but still feel very much like brother and sister. Emerald is the loud, outgoing one, and OJ is the much more quiet and reserved of the two. Maybe a little too much, honestly. I've seen Kaluuya in other movies, he's worked with Peel before, and I feel like he maybe dialed it down a little too much. He just seemed like he was holding back. Or maybe it just felt that way because Palmer had it cranked up to 11. I don't know. It was a lot of fun watching their various attempts at trying to capture footage of this UFO, trying to get what OJ refers to as the Oprah shots. Because if they get actual footage of a real, honest-to-God alien, that's money. Unfortunately, this UFO is a bit camera shy. It has some kind of EMP ability, which at first seems to be proximity-based, but then looks like it can actually target it at specific points like they keep changing the rules it's a bit inconsistent but yeah it's very difficult to get the footage they actually have to resort to hiring this documentary filmmaker who has an old school hand crank camera that does not require any electricity so it's not affected by this Brandon Perea is sort of the comic relief of this movie. He plays the Fry's Electronics Technician, which is interesting because I think Fry's had already gone out of business by the time they started filming. I mean, if no one's using the building, sure, might as well film there. Of course, no one was using it before the movie. That's why they went out of business. It was interesting watching the rise and fall of Fry's Electronics. I have seen it during its heyday when the store would just be packed. And I saw it near the end when you'd have a handful of people in this massive store at any given time. And they still had like 50 register stations open at the front of the store and only three or four were actually in use. Like, oh, what used to be. Steven Yun plays a man known as Jupe, who the Haywoods often clash with in this movie. He is a former child star that now runs a nearby amusement park. And he was really good, but also is one of my biggest problems with this movie. Let me explain. One of the themes in this movie deals with animal behavior and how human arrogance often clashes with that. And that was a big part of Jupe's backstory as back in his child TV star days, he had a traumatic experience on set with an animal and without giving too much away, clearly learned the wrong lessons from that. And honestly, I found his backstory to be much more interesting than the Haywoods and I really thought the story should have been about him. But he's not the focus of the movie. In fact, he doesn't even get to stick around for the climax. And I wish we had more of Keith David, who plays Otis Haywood Sr. 
Uh, we only really get to see him in a few flashback scenes, and even the flashback to his death just felt a bit rushed. Overall, I don't think this is Peel's best work, but it is still very well done and I enjoyed it. And if you want to see a good alien invasion story, I recommend checking it out. And that's all I have to say about Nope. Till next time, take care.